Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to What's on Tap, hosted by Derek Egler. I am the host, with the beer most, Derek Egler here. Again, on another exciting episode, guys. I know it's been a while. Eh, what can you say? But yeah, guys, we are hitting on episode 84. Now, I actually did this episode, and it just, uh, with the computer age, I mean, I almost kind of had to, uh, kind of, uh, etch this in stone like the Flintstones, old Barney Rubble, Freddy Flintstone. But, um, had a snafu, um, the original episode 84, woo, out the window, Thankfully, thankfully for everyone and myself, I had some more of this beer because it's good. So, episode 84, What's on Tap, hosted by Derek Egler. You've guessed it, I am Derek Egler. I am here for another episode, guys. Yes, number 84 on What's on Tap. I've gone through so, so many different beers. And this one is one of my favorite breweries in the great state of Ohio. Yes, folks, I am hitting you again. Again. With, hang on here, let's check it out. We've got a one. We've got a two. We've got a three. We've got a four. We've got a five. We've got a six. We ran out of fingers. We got a seven. Seven, but it has been a while. Okay? It has been episode 64. Was our last 20 episodes ago, guys. We had seven. Now, now... We have eight. Double quattro on it, people. This is, like I said, one of my favorite breweries, guys. This is the Urban Artifact. This one, I'm popping in the Teak. The Teak Tropical American Fruit Tart. And if you guys don't know about Urban Artifact, you need to know. Urban Artifact has some amazing beers. Some I haven't even tried yet. Amazingly enough, yes, yours truly has not tried every single offering that Urban Artifact has out. It's a goal. It is a goal. It's on my bucket list. It, hey, I, hey, it's on my bucket list. Urban Artifact is that darn good, guys. I mean, seriously. If I look back at this list on just the Urban Artifact, okay? The Urban, we've got a number four. We've got a number 18, 19. Number six. We've got number three. Number three of the beers I've had. Urban Artifacts on there, guys. Number three. Number three. I mean, if that doesn't tell you something, guys, number 23. 23 is the lowest one. Yeah. Because seven, seven, yeah. 23 is the lowest rated Urban Artifacts beer I've had. And 23 is not bad. I mean, if you're right now, if you are on this list, and you are in the top, I mean, you're in the top 30, you are a, like, amazing beer. Top 40, you're dang good. 50, dang good. I mean, come on, guys. Like, I know my stuff. I'm not messing around here but like i said i'm not gonna keep going on and on urban artifact it might be the shiz nizzle bizzle for shizzle rizzle like rizzle rizzle like urban artifact guys you're in cincinnati ohio area and you get a chance to go to urban artifact get it if it's in your store buy it anywhere you see urban artifact just get it get all as many as you can i mean it's on my bucket list i'm gonna try every single thing they have not, not the special stuff. I'm just saying the stuff that anybody can get, I'm going to get every single, I'm going to try every single one of them. 
And that's not going to stop me. I mean, obviously, I'm going to try some of the stuff that, you know, the special stuff. You know, I mean, I got to get that every now and then, you know. I need to get some order to my house, actually. But, guys, I'm going to stop going on and on about how great Urban Artifact is. I've told you enough. You know. So, we're doing the teak, guys. The Tropical American Fruit Tart from Urban Artifact. Uh, this one right here, guys, it's a seventh of a pineapple, a fifth of a pink guava, and two key limes in each can. Each one of these bad boys. So... A potion bubbles lazily as teak the yellow pours over dust-covered tomes of cantrips and ancient histories. Enchanted tropical fruits swirl around as the spell is complete. Conjure bold flavors. Quest with a teak. So guys, this one, drink fresh, cellar not recommended. This isn't cellar. Uh, this is older than my other six-pack I just got recently because... If you can get a six pack of this stuff for under eight dollars, I mean, I mean, you're pretty much. I mean, I mean it's pretty much that. It, it's like grand theft, honestly. Um, grand theft alcohol for sure. So this one right here, it was March seventh of twenty three. Oh my goodness gracious, it's over a year old. This is a year old. Oh, so I can actually, actually put this. As one year old, this is one year old age stuff here, guys. This is good. This is real good. I'm gonna have to check the other six are out and see what that is now. Actually, if it's 23, I'm gonna be so mad because I just bought it. Like I seriously just bought it. So this, I got the funk right here, the funky cup. And yes, it is from Bootleggers Homemade Wine in Tennessee. In that place, quite phenomenal. Quite phenomenal wines. Tennessee is just a great, great state. I mean, you live in a great state of Ohio. I mean, yeah, it's hard to compare. I mean, if Ohio had the city of Chicago, it would be the greatest state in the union. It'd, it'd be the, it'd, it'd be, if you're including Puerto Rico, I mean, then in the 51 states, it'd be the best. It, it's number one. Like, Chicago is the best. I don't care what anybody ever tells you. Never, never try to, to get the foam out. Bad idea. But you know, guys, how I am. I'm good to the last job. So, I didn't go over this uh, teak. The ABV here at 7.2. It is hefty. Ain't no head. Nuh-uh. Mm-mm. -uh. Now, you smell some of that pineapple, a lot of that guava. Um, not really too much key lime on the nose. Mmm. Woo-wee! Woo! A ton of guava and lime. I get, like, no pineapple. None. Like, it's insane. Wow. That is quite wild. Wow. And I, I actually just want to show, like, this little dude right here. Like, that's pretty cool. Like, these cans are always awesome. Like, Urban Artifact cans are cool. It's like the... I don't know. Like, I unfortunately... I've never been to the brewery. I do want to go um, when I'm closed or, or around. I'd love to go. Um, it's hard. Um, it's hard because, you know, like... It is hard. Yeah, I don't want to, you know, like, take my kids into this brewery. I, I, I just don't like taking my kids into brewery. Like, I just, I mean, I'm not, like, real, real big fan of it. Like, and there's so much other things down in the Cincinnati area that, like, I could do with them other than, like, Gunder Brewery. So, like, I love, I love Urban Artifact, but, like, family's definitely, like, above, like, a lot. Like, a lot. Like, everything except for, I mean, obviously. But, not going to get into that, because this isn't about that. This is about the beer. And the beer, right here, episode 84, Urban Artifact. Tea, tropical fruit tart. Man. You don't get a ton of pineapple on the nose. It's guava and lime, which is awesome. The pineapple kind of smooths out like the sourness and funkiness of the guava with the lime. 
But me personally, if you took away the pineapple, it would just be like, wowzers. It's still wowzers, but. Mm. Like, mm. that's not a tart. That's a sour. Like, that's a sour. And it might actually, like, when I first did this episode, probably like a month ago, it's probably actually even longer than that. Actually, it was. It's been a while, guys. Like, it's been a long while. Easy month, an easy month ago, like for sure, easy month. Okay, so this one I did this like so long ago, and I've got it. I've got it ranked right here. Um, I mean, it is. It's it's better than than Limerzilla. It, it was then too. It, it tied. It, yeah, it was better. Um, man. It's just, it is, it is good. Mm, I don't, but you're not. Like, that's the only thing. Ah. Uh. Yeah, I think it is. Even now, because... I'm just, and I should not do this. I should not compare necessarily to the Xmas pickle from Urban Artifact, but I kind of am. Like, like the Green Martian from Platform was funk, and that's what I love, guys. Like, I'm, I'm in, I'm one just the funky beers, like the funky stuff. Um, I do know I've got seven of them right now that are like ready to go. Ready for the show? <laughs> what do you know? Uh, I should be a rapper. I should. It'd be so fun. Like hip hop, hippy to the hippity hip hip to hop. You don't stop the rock to the bang bang boogie. Hip jump the boogie to the rhythm of the boogie to be. I can go on with a little Sugar Hill for a while, but I won't. This isn't a rap show either. It's the beer. Goodness gracious, that's good. And that's the scary thing about this, guys. The Teak Tropical Fruit Tart, 7.2 alcohol per volume. It's my pie on the day. That's right. But real fruit, I think that's what sets... That is what sets a number of beers apart. You can, a lot of people can make beer. I can't. I can make mead. That's more my, my style, my level there. But you, you look at real fruit compared to like, not real. Um, like you throw a real fruit, fruit puree and stuff in in your your beers, it just wow. Artificial flavorings are garbage, complete garbage. Okay. Um, the more natural you can go with things, the better off you are. Um, it's just the way. The way of the all-encompassing manner of things is that, yes, like, the, the natural way of doing things is better. Use, use natural fruit in your beer, you get better results. And the better quality of ingredients you're using, the better off that your product is. So, Urban Artifact, guys, does an amazing job, and... I am 120% not getting paid whatsoever, not getting, I'm not getting a dime, I'm like, I'm getting nothing. Like, I am, I am paying them when I buy their beer, because that's, that's what it is. Um, but, 
I'm not getting any like there's nothing that is that is making me outside of how great this beer is saying how great this beer is. Um, if I mean, Urban Artifact is honestly one of the best breweries I've ever had beer from. Like, they're top notch. Um, and with my list how it is, like, I would honestly, I would put them, um, I would put Urban Artifact as the second best brewery that I've ever had beer from. Um, and that is behind only one other brewery. Um, that I've actually never, also never been to, um, but got the chance to get their beer, um, and they're out of Wisconsin, um, and they are absolutely phenomenal. Um, they're actually on What's on Tap, hosted by Derek Gagler here. They've got the number one best beer I've ever had, um, and I've done I've done one other one. I've not done them in uh, blah, 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 since number episode 50. Um, they've got the number one and the number five um, best beers on my list. That brewery does. Um, and I think it might be, honestly, it might be about time to just chill one of those bad bears up and just drink it, man. Um, maybe I'll do it on St. Patty's Day. That would be cool. Maybe I should do that. Maybe on St. Patty's Day, I should do a brewery what's on tap I, I think i will for episode 85 we're gonna do it guys i'm i'm saying it now um i'm gonna stick to my word i'm gonna stick to my guns on episode 85 we're gonna do a saint patty's day and i think saint patty's day is uh is it monday no 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 no, no. it's sunday isn't it i think it's sunday Ugh. It's gonna stink. Yeah, we'll see what happens. We'll just we'll just do it anyway. Why not? Who? Why not? I mean, bare minimum, I'll upload it on on St. Patty's Day. And I ain't drinking no green stuff neither. Yeah, not putting the green food dye in my beer because that's not cool, man. Well, I am. I'm going to do that. Episode 85, it's going to be that brewery. Yeah, yeah. I tell you what. Oof. That's some good beer. And I will. I will, uh... Oh, this isn't, this is the, that's a darn, it is, it's staying, I mean, it is, it's darn good, and it's staying where I put it origi originally. So, the guava with the lime on the nose, the slight pineapple, um, on the palate, you've just got the guava and then the lime just BAM! Hit you. Like smack you up. It's, just, it's, it's amazing. It's delicious. It's, it's, it's great. Mm. My goodness. <laughs> Man, that's good stuff. It's so good. I might go back to where I got a six pack for under eight dollars and get another one for three. It is. It's pretty at that price. It's it's pretty much. It's fleece. It's a complete fleece. Complete. An utter one. Yeah, absolutely. So guys, I for episode number eighty four, we're getting the verdict in on that gonna do too much of a drum roll but episode 84 of what's on tap hosted by Derek Egler this guy right meow we did the urban artifact teak tropical fruit tart and like I said earlier it has a seventh of a pineapple excuse me 
Yes. A seventh of a pineapple, a fifth of a pink guava, and two key limes. Each, each 12 ounce can, guys. In, in a 12 ounce, 12 ounce can, that's exactly what you're getting. 7.2 ABV. Absolutely crushable. Beyond belief. Delicious. I mean, it's... I wish I wish it was 70 or 80 degrees. Sorry. I wish it was like 80 or 90 degrees right now. Maybe 100. Just I would just love to be outside just chilling by the pool with this stuff. It'd be just... Doo -doo -doo -doo. Mm. Ah, doo -doo -doo -yeah. yeah, you know? It'd be great. But... Enough of that, guys. I've done my uh, spiel on how great Urban Artifact is. How great this beer is. I mean, crisp, guys, crisp. Sour. Absolutely delightful. My goodness, this is good. I mean, it's it, this. This is a summer. I mean, in, in in the color, you guys. I I usually do the color, but that just that that's tropical, guys, as you can get. I mean, this is a beautiful, uh, beautiful. It's almost like a honey gold. It, it it actually actually looks honey gold, like a honey gold on this. Oh my goodness, it is absolutely marvelous. Absolutely marvelous. Urban Artifact, guys. Check them out. I mean, I'm, I'm hyping them because they're that darn good. And although they do not recommend cellaring, they recommend drinking this one fresh, Guys, I'm telling you right now, at 7.2, you put this stuff in the fridge or in your cellar or, or wherever, whatever you do. I'm telling you right now that this stuff is fresh to this. This is better. Uh, fresh is crisper, cleaner, smoother mellower while the aged is BAM sorry but it yeah the uh, one year aged on the teak is the way to go so guys age your teak one year drink drink one fresh drink one fresh and I might actually do a two year on one of these two I'm I'm thinking about doing a two year on a teak so next March I'll do another episode with teak at two years and see see what the difference is that would be a great idea that that is a brilliant brilliant plan next march i will do another teak because this one like i said guys it was 3723 okay so this we we're at uh 311 14 Heck, I don't even know. I, th I think it's 13, 3, 3, 4, I don't know. It's either, I think it's the 14th, I think, of March, maybe, 2024. So this stuff's a year, a year and a week old. A year and a week old exactly, okay? One year, one week. So one year and one week old. So exactly, exact. So we are going to do that next March. Next March, I am going to do another teak. And it's going to be two year. It's going to be the two year stuff. That is my plan, and I'm sticking to it. Oh, yeah. We're going to see how good it is. But for episode number 84 of What's on Tap, hosted by Derek Igler. 
We did the Urban Artifact Teak Tropical Fruit Tart. Quite delicious at one year, one week old. 7.2 ABV. Drink one fresh. Age the rest. And you'll be golden. We are putting this one, folks, on the list. Number 20. Yes, folks. Number 20 is the Urban Artifact Teak Tropical Fruit Tart. Aged one year, one week. Episode 84. Teak hitting number 20. Urban Artifact blowing it up. For Derek Engler of What's on Tap. Have a great and peaceful night.